All right, it's the top of the hour, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome everyone to the UX Functional Group Update. Uh, today should be a little bit shorter. Um, it's only been three weeks since my last update due to the holidays. My last FGU got moved up a little bit, so it's a shorter time span. So first thing I wanna cover is that there's been a slight revision to our 2018 goals, uh, at least for quarter one. Um, we did some rearranging uh, in order to focus more on areas that are closely tied to GitLab's strategic goals for 2018. Um, We'll still be working on the other efforts we described in our last FGU, but that'll be more part of our day to day, not uh, a special um, uh, effort. So first off, we want to be DevOps for Kubernetes, right? So that means evaluating the install experience, the cluster experience, auto DevOps and operation workflow. So our first uh, KR update takes a close look at our installation process. So we'll start with user testing to establish a baseline time for our current installation uh, and identify opportunities for improvement. We'll make changes, retest, rapidly repeating the cycle until the time can't be improved. Our guesstimate right now is that we could, we could probably push and improve it by 50%, maybe even more. Um, but as we get into that, we'll be sharing uh, the user testing videos, the results that we have, and then the changes that we plan on making. Secondly, uh, we want to establish operations engineers as a first class citizen. So until fairly recently, we have been really developer focused. Um, and in order to make the intersection between development and operations powerful, we really need to understand operations as well as we understand development. So with this KR, we're dedicated to understanding the needs, wants, and perspective of operations engineers. Uh, the end goal is to establish a solid dialogue with this group so we can build out a set of tools they just can't live without. Um, the final KR here, complete the pattern library and UI repository, remains the same. Um, and you can see details about that KR in our last functional group update. So some accomplishments, uh, even though it's only been three weeks uh, since our last update, we managed to fill one of our two open UX positions. Um, we'll announce more about that uh, new hire once the process is a bit further along. We've also been working on a 2018 vision. So Dimitri has been working closely with Mark Punsack to tell the story of GitLab's 2018 product vision. Uh, it's still a work in progress and you can see the latest iteration on YouTube. Uh, there's a link right there for you. And so far, 10.5 is looking really, really good. 40 out of the 48 issues uh, are already UX ready. So that means the UX is complete and ready for front end, back end uh, to get working on those. So that allows us more time to devote to OKR and the vision issues that we're already working on. So challenges. So obviously we did some, some last minute updates to our, our KRs for this quarter. So that does mean that we're um, starting a little bit late. Um, and that gives us a bit of a reduced time to reach those goals. So pretty confident uh, that we're gonna get very far on those. Uh, we're gonna hit the ground running. So hiring, while we have hired one designer, we do still have another position open. And that means that we are understaffed still um, and using existing re resources to review and interview candidates. Um, anyone here hiring knows that that can be really time consuming. Um, it's a temporary constraint. We're confident that the remaining position will soon be filled. Uh, so hopefully that's something that won't pose much more of a challenge uh, by the next FGU update. Priorities. So we do have some priorities that come in outside of deliverables. UX has been asked to give input earlier on for product vision issues, which we love. That's something we really wanna do. We wanna get more involved earlier on in the process so that we can use research and our specific set of expertise to help drive um, better solutions. But these often fall outside the current release. Um, they're not part of our, our deliverables. So we have to balance that with the deliverables for the release, as well as any um, high priority or time sensitive issues that come in. So that can be a bit of a challenge. I think we're doing pretty well right now, but just keeping that in mind as we move forward. 
We also do have a lot of requests for UX design and research. Um, again, these are usually not scheduled, something that someone just has an idea on or a question about, they, they want our input. Ideally, we'd love to jump on these and start iterating right away and, and generate some ideas on how to solve them. Um, but we need to make sure that we're meeting our current obligations. So I've asked the department to concentrate on the highest priority issues first and just use your best judgment when answering requests on unscheduled issues. That way we don't get off track and, and miss deliverables um, because we get too deep into something else. Um, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be asking for our help or pinging us. Uh, don't want to discourage that at all. Just be aware that, that we, there may be a little bit of a delay in response. Um, but if you feel it's something important, feel free to message me directly and ask me to take a look at it. I'm always happy to do that. And then I wanted to put a huge thank you out to People Ops, uh, the whole team, of course, but I've been working closely with Celesta, Chloe, Nadia, and JC for interviews, uh, candidates' paperwork. Uh, Celesta has been doing a great job of sourcing and trying to find me just the best candidates from all around the world. So I wanted to say thank you so much. I know that they are understaffed and uh, doing the best they can, and they're knocking it out of the park. So thank you so, so much. Promise I keep it short. Any questions? I'm checking the chat. Big thanks to People Ops. So I'll give it about five seconds and then I will let everyone go. I can have a whole 20 something minutes back. My math is terrible. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. All right. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you in the team call. Bye-bye.